I'm Stan, I'm talk Broughton community reporter. What I found was quite interesting. People really do care about their neighborhood. It is really hard to say uh, about community spirit, anything really about community spirit in Broughton. We were surprised that people opened the door to us and were open to talk about their problems. There were similar things which they want to change. It shows that they are care about the future. What are these COVID issues? The main issues really are around um, environmental crime. And they were jumping on this next door fence, so yeah. they flattened it down. Um, Antisocial behaviour. We have trouble with them walking along drinking cans of beer. The alley gates and, and the rubbish that, that just builds up there. Yeah, Gainsborough Street has been the one that's been highlighted yeah. on all of that. Cisbreen, 17 Gainsborough Street. Trudy Byrne, 19 Gainsborough Street. Forget the numbers. Yeah, it's naturally not in Gainsborough Street. Okay. Tim Blackburn, 25 Gainsborough Street. We're having such a problem with rubbish. They don't tie the bags up, they don't do nothing, just fling it all out, that's it. Half of them say they haven't got bins. We give them bins, and then they just abuse it by putting anything in it. Some people don't pay council tax because their houses are uh, not good enough to be occupied. And that's, that's why they have no beans and they have to leave, uh, they have to leave uh, rubbish on the streets. There's never been anything, any improvement, any road work has done. Uh, it looks yeah. like we're not even on the map, nowhere, nobody no. wants to know. If you're born in Broughton and you're born in Cambridge, but you're going to live 10 years longer in Cambridge, and if you're born in Broughton. Anyway, where you come from? No, I live in the Broughton area. Do you? Yes. Do you feel safe no, living no, in the area? No, no. no. That's, that's the silly no. question to ask that is. No. You ask any one of these ladies if they go out after 8 o'clock at night no. and every one of them will say no. No. Because we're sick and tired of it. They keep promising us this and promising us that. We keep having meeting after meeting after meeting. It's been going on for now, what, more than 10 years. And where are we? Some of the shops have disappeared. And all the others seem to disappear, they were all demolished. There's no healthy food options, I can't, there's no green grocers, there's no uh, stuff that Iceland sell and that and that's it's all low end stuff that's, that's just not good for you. It's a bit, you know, it's a pity there wasn't a bit of a shopping centre here. A new shopping centre would be a big boon. Yeah. First of all, it'd be employment. One thing that perhaps Broad does suffer from selling high Broad is, is not quite having a, a distinct centre. Our kitchen it's going not in there. exactly safe there anyway because there's no a lot of drugs. So. Thing. Yeah, people are always saying there's drugs. Well, it backs on, it backs on to the homeless. And they're drinking thing, as it, well yeah. there. Because yeah. man warned me that yeah. going in there Sunday yeah. morning. I wouldn't have imagined it. The house is around here is s. The area is s. Don't come to this area because you'll just get robbed all car tracks full of thieves and criminals. So what would you like to see happen? How would you like to see make it better? Look at all that, look at all I'm a criminal. Thank you, bye bye. So if you sort of had to summarise, what would you say for you is the best thing about living in Broughton? Or higher Broughton? And I'm sure it won't take a lot to just make the area a bit cleaner and, and safer and, safer. and, safer. and, and that we can see some yeah. police and new lighting in our streets. I'm hoping to set up some activities that will bring people together in a more positive um, role rather than just bringing people together to talk about what's wrong with the area. But there is a lot of good, Broughton's a really good place. Well obviously I, I love it because I live here so I think it's a brilliant place. I've always liked Broughton. In all, life is quite good. Don't let things get you down. <laughs> past about ten years, that it's got a lot better. Before that, it was uh, a lot of crime. There's some nice green areas and some very nice old buildings up towards the cliff. Are, are the shops good? Are there enough yeah, shops? Yeah, the shops are brilliant. Uh, not, not a problem. The shops are brilliant. The only good thing is it's close to town if you're into, if you're that way inclined. Being nearest to the city. Being close to the city centre. Uh, I do see the benefits. I think sometimes the results that we can give to the community are small. You know, we're taking small steps all the time. I think Brown has improved yeah. over the years. I think it's got better. 
Um, I think there's still an awful long way to go. It's still very much in a private area. Fundamentally, we need something a lot more than that. More than just uh, supporting a few people here or a few people there. What we're starting to look at is the way that the public service and the public sector as a whole can really work together to tackle all of the needs of individuals of Salford.